I'm proud uh, to present this legislation allowing a statue honoring United States Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas to be placed on the state capitol. For too long, the Georgia State Capitol has been home to statues and paintings of those who stood against our values and our democracy. And his wife also actively encouraged this coup of violence in an attempt to stop a peaceful transfer of power for the first time in our country's history. When we talk about a person of color that goes back historically to the days of slavery and that person betraying his own community, we have a term in the black community. That term that we use is called uh, Uncle Tom. Justice Thomas has indeed lived up to some of the cautions that I presented in my first speech by rolling back judicial president in the pursuit of political objectives, despite having assured the, pub assured the public in Congress on multiple occasions that he would adhere to, adhere to and respect precedent. Additionally, his wife is directly implicated in not only participating in the insurrection on January 6, 2021, this is not the type of shame we want to enshrine on Capitol grounds. At minimum, this bill should be tabled until such time that Judge uh, Justice Thomas and his wife are cleared of collaboration in this dark chapter in our history. But here at the Georgia State Capitol, statues and monuments have stood for decades, some mere steps from this chamber. Monuments whose memories of insurrection and national betrayal were or continue to be honored alongside those who gave the last full measure of devotion to preserve America and protect our democratic society. 21 names, 21 Confederates who betrayed our country have been honored at the state capitol. And I believe today, if we choose to pass this bill and honor associate Justice Clarence Thomas in this way, we may be making that mistake once more. So when we think about a person in the black community who's accomplished, but yet policies seek to subvert some may even say suppress the achievements and accomplishments of people of color, I couldn't help but to think about that term in expressing my dissatisfaction with this particular legislation. And I don't expect people of non-color to get the sensitivity that we feel about a person of color whose policies and practices and decisions and votes that we've rallied and fought against. But it's not just about people of color. Uh, Justice Thomas' decisions have certainly sparked outrage against women, and not just women of color, but all women. And certainly when we look at the LGBTQ plus community, certainly his votes and positions he's taken has raised outrage in that community as well. He even said, and I have if anyone want to fact check me, by the way, some of his famous quotes, and I wouldn't say quotes, but some of his famous positions. And let me just kind of share with you what some of those positions are. He said, job discrimination rules don't apply to transgender status. I said they should. He said, anti-gay marriage laws, not the same as miscegenation, which I don't know why. He went on to say affirmative action forever discounts black achievements. I don't know too many people of color in this body that haven't benefited from affirmative action. Now, I'm not talking about action where you give somebody a, a handout, but certainly all of us at some times in our lives even need a hand up. 